So I here. like that to be honest.
cutting low end out of my snare. Sending the snare to my drum bus. CLA mix hub with a preset from a deer. Drum bus preset. Pretty self-explanatory. Just makes my drums crispy, which is nice. I use it on everything but my kick and my open hi-hats. Hear the life? I made a drum pattern which is making chords and now I made a drum pattern so I've got this like a uh, percussion thing that I really like using and I've been making like everything I've been making has been like that and here it's it's not that exact one but it's super similar and I'm just gonna that's a 110 just slow that down to 98 just like that Sounds a little, sounds a little almost there, but not, like not. It's that second clap I added, dude, that one. I thought it was going to do more than it did, honestly, but I shouldn't have been lazy. Because now I got to go and get myself... I have a space heater going in the background, in case you guys hear that. My TLM sure loves to hear it. Uh, uh oh. Uh, I just bought this, um, not that any guys give a flying flip. I bought this uh, Arturia Mini Lab. So far, I highly recommend it. Um, it is the only MIDI controller that I've actually downloaded the script for and like used the way that you're supposed to use it. So I guess that's also like why I say this is amazing. Cause like they make this stuff so easy for no reason. You get what I'm saying? Like uh, I just downloaded the script. Before I was making it harder on myself. I was trying to like route everything through Arturia MIDI control center, I think it is. And I'm like running all my main channels trying to make sure it's correct. Not all of my main channels. I'm just lining up the settings between Arturia MIDI control center and my logic through an external uh, MIDI instrument because I had the analog V labs outside of my logic on its own, like, uh, it's, its own, like, standalone thing. Um, so I was like being stupid. Like, oh my god, why is this not recording in my logic? Like, I have it hooked up. It has no MIDI cable except for, like, a, a big boy MIDI cable. Like, a legit MIDI cable if you want to run, like, synths or something with this. Um, that's out of my knowledge, like, form. So I'm like, holy poop. Arturia is the best with, uh, well, YouTube tutorials. I looked up a five-minute video, and they're like, oh, hey, by the way, um... If you don't download the logic script, then you're gonna have a really hard time. So I was like, wow, that's crazy. And I downloaded the logic script and then I opened up logic and it's uh, all just like routed now. So that's fucking sick. So you basically like, I'm gonna give you a free rundown of this, okay? So here we go, it's a normal MIDI controller. It's already dirty, so don't judge me. It looks sick though. They, had, they have an all white one, which I kind of wanted, but I don't care. Um, this one looks cooler <clears throat> anyway, in my opinion. Sorry for the burps. <laughs> Kinda good way to show you 
All right, so if you hit shift pad three, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it'll say DAW up there. So now if you could see up there without me, oh, hey, you see yourself, that's cool. So that basically that says uh, Des Wright, clap shot, clap one shot. So with this scroller right here, I can scroll through my audio tracks in Logic. So this this is not I'm not scrolling through Arturia instruments right now. I'm scrolling through my Logic tracks, right? And then I can hold shift again, play the track. I have no sound right now, but And then like right pause I, there's a tap tempo up here i can record from this i can turn on and off my loop and there's uh, there's more pads too that's just the a side there's a b pad thing too so basically like i could be standing all the way over there across my room this is basically just me freaking out about midi controls because i've never downloaded a script before so like you guys probably all heard this before but like just let me like let me freak out for a second right crazy like who who would have thought of that not me that's wild um and and besides that i mean what's it called uh it comes with uh so when i bought this this is like straight up ad and i don't know why i'm making it an ad but like i really this is i bought this for a 100 bucks right which is like the normal price of like what is it a kai mini La it's not a mini lab or it's like the whatever the 32 key it's a 32 key right or like a 22 key uh midi keyboard controller that everyone gets the red one it's a kai it's, you know what i'm talking about that thing's like 100 bucks too i'm pretty sure i think you can do like similar stuff with it but this came with uh ableton live light like i don't use ableton but like i want to learn how to use ableton because all my friends use ableton so like, hey, there you go. That's 300 bucks right there. Ableton Live Lite, you get three months free of Splice Creator, I think. Uh, you get like a Loop Cloud subscription for free. Um, what else? Like, I, I got Analog Lab V Intro, which like isn't, it's like the lowest, it's like the base model. You know what I'm saying? So like, I didn't get anything crazy, but there's still like a trillion sounds in this thing. And then they're like Juno keyboards and like, stuff like that the stuff that like i load up in logic the like emulations of it and i'm like it's so close but like i don't you know what i'm saying like i don't love it and now i just feel so so much better because i have it in a, an alternative sound library and it's from arturia which is great because i love arturia it was my first synth I'm a little micro freak i don't have a big synth i want a grandmother I don't need a grandmother, you know? Like, I'm not that good yet, you know? I could do everything on here, and it's rad. And I, you know, I get the MIDI controller, I get the analog lab. I couldn't ask for more, you know? I've officially learned how to use MIDI with this controller. <laughs> like, I'm raw, bro. I'm legit. That's crazy. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying, like... That's just such a good feeling. I had an old stupid MIDI controller and I never like set it up correctly. So I just had a bunch of knobs and shit that didn't do anything. And now my faders work. My knobs control my effects. I can scroll through my tracks. I can set my loops. I can record. I can pause. I can play. I can tap tempo. I could, I could do anything. I don't even have to touch my computer. Innovation, dude. Innovation. Like, you guys have been living like this your whole music production career. All right? I just got into this. You know what I'm saying? I just got into this trick right here. I'm amped, bro. I just got my first, uh, what's it called? I just got my first MIDI completely routed to Logic. Completely. I control everything. I'm on a different level now. Not really. I, the only thing that's different is I don't have to hit the R key. And I still have... It's still muscle memory, so I still, like, uh, play something, and I'm like, oh, I fucked it up. 
and I delete it from here. I'm like, no, I can do it from here, you know. But it's cool. I mean, you can run a bunch of live stuff through here too. So like, if I ever get into the case scenario where I want to do a crazy track build on stage, like some John Bellion stuff, boom, baby. Except I can't record straight into this, but I can record straight into this, and then I can play them through here. Boom. Celsius also. Shout out Celsius. Uh, I didn't used to drink Celsius, and then they just blessed me. So I love Celsius, because it's actually good now. Like, I actually like it. I never gave it a proper try. Uh, 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 okay, uh, uh, uh. I be scootin' and dippin', I'm flippin' and written, the written's out of written, I'm written a bit, but I'm shittin', I'm going through the motions, I'm flippin' up with a descriptive, but it would've led to a dude, you know? Thanks. Like, not even what I was trying to do. Look. I started with A flat major. I think. A flat major seven. A, a, a flat major add nine. That's A flat. I think that's the ninth. And then F minor. And it's got this. This is why I like Analog Lab. Because this is a cool little reverse pad. It's called reverse box. Okay, so I'm back. This is what it looks like right here. Uh, reverse box. It's really good. You hear those little like reverse tingles back there? You know, hot take, I always feel like A flat major is going to do more for me than I think it does. And then I play the chord, bare bones, okay, not a Berkeley student here. I just play the chord, straight up regular schmegler, okay, there's no like fancy splitting octaves, intervals, okay. I do that inside the program. I have like... 15 keys here so I'm not like going crazy but like I don't know if it's an octave down it'll probably be that's better but still I want it to be more I like that combo though Would that be A flat major? Is it G major or is it a uh, G minor? It's a seventh. That's made. It's diminished, isn't it? Seventh note is diminished, or is that? I'm not, I'm not Googling it. It's diminished. I'm already, I'm already locked in, dude. It's diminished. Ah, half diminished seventh chord. I was right, dude. Yes, yes. Okay. So I, that was like, I mean, how do you play a G diminished? Uh. 
that. I could just do this. No, not what I was thinking. Whatever. I'm cool with just two chords. Like, I don't really care. Until later on. what I'm going to do. I'm going to bounce it in place. <laughs> Woohoo! Bounce in place. Woohoo! And I want to try to take this new plugin I found called 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 Beat Breaker! Got those drums were on there. Excuse me. Okay. Relax, computer. Relax. Freeze this, this bad mamma gemma, because it's gonna make my computer explode. Where is the freeze button? Where is the freeze? Freeze! You are frozen. Ha ha ha! Sorry, guys. Frozen. I don't know why that plugin makes my computer poop itself, but it does. Don't talk about it.
Ah, it's so close, but it's not there. I'm glad I listened to it for a second. It's so close, though. they make that a chord.
I'm gonna try that. I gotta un unfreeze this real quick, but. I just got this, uh, plug-in called One Knob Pumper. I like One Knob stuff, I just don't like the after effects of it. Like, the amount that I have to do to get the One Knob Pumper to, like, actually work. Turn up with Clinton's in here, what's up, bro? <laughs> Sorry, dog. I, uh... Loki had just been not even paying attention. There's probably been a lot of people up in this thing that I just like Loki ignored the hell out of. So I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm just cooking right now. You know. Yeah, everyone show some love. Everyone show some love. Black friend in the chat. Black friend in the chat. Album going crazy. Album going crazy. Hell yeah, bro, check this out, bro. I don't know if you're still in here, but I bought an Arturia Mini Lab. I'm I'm just gonna have to call you and give you the whole rundown after the live, bro, because yo, this thing, bro, you have you have something like this, I'm pretty sure. That's like I think this is like you have something that's like nicer quality than this. But damn, bro. I can do literally everything off of this. And this is, like, the first MIDI I've had that's actually been, like, routed to, like, my logic. All oh, Black Vibes too. Yeah, this is the last one they had. Bro, absolute homie at Guitar Center, right? So, like, straight up, I go there, and I'm, like, about to buy, like, this, like, cheaper one. It was Arturia, but it came with... The only reason I was buying it is because it came with, like, these, uh like programs like I had free plugins with it that were like super not super expensive but I was getting more in plugins than I was paying for the MIDI so I was like hell yeah I'm gonna get that it was an open box so bro opened it up and was like yo there's none of the like register cards in here like you're not gonna get any of the license if you buy this so I was like oh my god bro you just saved my life imagine I went home and I was like yo where's all my like cards so basically, the person that bought it before me scammed, but I got a different one, and it was the last one they had, so I was like, hell yeah. Such a good purchase, though. So good, because, like, I, I could just do everything. If I hit shift, this is all my, like, logic controls now, so I could, like, turn on and off my loop, I can play, pause, tap tempo, record, I mean, switch instruments, I can control my tracks through... It's, it's nuts, dude. I mean, it's nuts. Um, yeah. You fuck with the sounds in there? Bro. Bro. So it gave me, like, this, like, I love Arturia. I mean, this synth that I have is, or, oh, it didn't flip. Um, this synth that I have is Arturia as well. Um, and it, like, it's really nice. I think this has like 300 sounds or 500 sounds in it, but the sounds are so unique. It's like a very micro freak sound, but these like the, uh, it's, it comes with analog labs. So it's like all your old, like, it's got a really nice sounding like Juno keys. It's got really nice sequencers, like all the old retro sounding, like saw bases you could want pretty much. Not even just saw bass, but, like, just sine waves and saw stuff. But, so this is, like, what it came with, right? Like, this is the analog. And this is just the intro version. I'm honestly going to buy the full version. But, so, you've got all your presets in here. Like, it looks like contact. Like, it's really just, like, contact. Um, so, I mean, everything right there is a whole bunch of shit. And then I can go into here, and they've got, like, a whole fucking what's it called a whole like online community that makes sounds and sells them like splice so you can buy like free packs i'm like bro here i am about to spend like 500 bucks on or 350 bucks on keyscape or something like that and then i'm just like dude this is crazy i'd much rather do this and just like take a risk and try it but i love keyscape too but i mean 350 bucks dude for real like crazy you know like i've got a waves uh 
I think it's like Grand something piano. It's a Waves piano that I just use if I need keys because it sounds the same. Just less options, I think. What was I just going to do? Oh, yeah, the the pumper on the... Uh... So this is this is another hot take. Finesse the system. I did, for real. Um, one uh, pumper. I love it, especially when I make house music. It's just such a good vibe to have, like, that rhythm going back there, fourth note, just like, won't, won't. But I only use this plugin if I'm trying to get the image of something. If I'm like, nah, I want to see if I like it first before I go through and I automate every quarter note on and off, um, which really doesn't take that long. Like, it's not like a pain in the ass, but like the aftermath of this one knob for some reason, I don't know if I'm, if I need to put it on a bus, I don't know what to do. But it makes my audio sound like crap. It just pops and clips and wow, it's bad. Um, so I just like put this on to catch the vibe of it. And I'm like, okay, I kind of like it in that quarter note like gate, you know. And then if I really like the quarter note pumps, then I like obviously disable the plug in, go into automation, automate the volume every quarter note. And then you could literally just draw that in two times and then copy and paste the automation it's it does not take a long time at all but you hear it right there like listen it sounds like i took three different vinyl like emulation plugins and stacked them on there and now they're just all like <laughs> so it's pretty it's pretty rancid but it's probably something i'm doing wrong but i didn't even like that vibe right there to be honest I like it better without. Did you try to recover your TikTok account? Yeah, I'm trying. They don't want to give it back to me because I'm 13, they think. I'm, I'm 20 years old. They think I'm 13. So uh, they don't want to give it back to me. They don't care. TikTok does not care about me, guys, anymore because... That's just how it goes, but I don't care because, you know, I'm, I love you guys and I still post on TikTok on a different account, but it's just like, you know, I haven't been like committing all my time to TikTok and like, I don't know. I, I just like, if I'm being honest, I think that like, I don't know. Never mind. I'm actually, it's stupid for me to say anything. I, I don't know. I, it's stupid. But I do think that, like, I would have appreciated more, uh, more communication right now. And I don't know what's, like, I don't know. It's just, like, like, I got my whole entire phone hacked from, like, Verizon. I got my whole entire phone hacked. All of my information was stolen. And I got that back in a day. You know what I'm saying? And my TikTok account got deleted because they thought I was a 13-year-old. And it, I still haven't gotten it back. So, like, I'm just like, dude, like, how really got my whole entire phone, like, destroyed, you know? Um, it's just weird to me. And I don't know why I got banned in the first place. It's stupid, you know? It's just like, okay, thanks, I guess, like... If the account never comes back, I honestly don't care. Like, uh, I, it's a blessing and a curse because, um, you know, it's an opportunity for new adventure, you know, grinding on a different account, doing whatever. But also, it's a release from all of the torture that goes on in my uh, life with, you know, younger me and 2015 and grinding on TikTok, you know, so it's nice, honestly, to not have, you know, that all over the place. Um, but 
you know, at the same time, it's like everybody's on my butt. Like, you need TikTok. You need TikTok. You need TikTok. And I'm like, fuck. I know. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it anymore. Ah. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's, I, th- I think it'll just come back one day. But I don't know. Life is good not stressing about TikTok. It sounds so silly. Like, it's like, it's just like uh, my life has been completely different from, like, the average TikTok user, I'd say. Because, like, uh, one, when, I, like, I started getting big on TikTok, like, it was, like, we were the first TikTokers to be, like, big, you know? Like, it it was fresh from Musical.ly to TikTok. So, like, one, everybody was, like, what the hell is TikTok? And two, it was just, like, a newer thing for, like, since we were, like, the first people to, like, come up on TikTok. And, like, um, I don't know. Like, I just stress about so much more on social media. It's, like, people from, like, the outside or, like, people that have nothing to do with it. It's, like... Yeah, I wish, you know, um, which, yeah, I'd, like, dude, I would, I would rather be doing nothing else with my life right now, like, you know, I don't know, I would be a Navy SEAL, that would be pretty dope, but, like, I would just rather be, like, doing nothing else, so I'm not trying to say that I'm, like, ungrateful for anything, but it's just, like, I don't know, it's so hard to explain, like, how I feel about stuff and, like, how stuff is bothering me because there's such, like, a thing held over my head about, like, this is such a lucky opportunity for you and, like, you know, you're so blessed to be in the position you are. I'm like, yes, yeah, but, like, I still want to vent sometimes, you know, and still want to, like, be like, nah, that, that stuff really bothers me and I'm really stressed out about it. But then it's like, how are you, people are just like, how are you even stressed? It's an app. And I'm like, you know what, bro? It's okay. It's fine. I got to explain it. You know, I haven't had privacy since I was 13 years old. You know, (laughs) like I haven't had anything. Everything that's been like, you know, me, my life, you guys, you guys literally know everything about me except for my legal name. I have a different name. That's like a surprise that like nobody knows, but like, uh, like, you guys know everything about me, you know, and it's been that way since I was, like, 13, um, which is, like, scary, uh, but, like, (laughs) you human at the end of the day, you understand, like, you get it, bro, you know, it's, like, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a different lifestyle, like, that's just all it is, it's just different, like, you understand it a lot, too, it's, like, it's different, um, and it's, like, really hard to, like, like, right now, the battle with myself is, like, consistency versus, like, professionalism. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, I hope that makes sense. Like, uh, you know, to be, like, to play into, like, social media, you know what I'm saying? And, like, uh, like, make myself, you know, like, give myself the right opportunity to promote my content and, like, stuff like that and, like, play into the algorithm, like, where does the line, like, stop between, like, professionalism and, like, uh, maintaining a good image versus, like, I have to post today, so I just have to post a selfie or just post some stupid video, which is, like, I know you guys don't care, like, as my fan base, you guys just want to see me post, like, whatever it is, it could be a picture of, like, my eyeball, you guys just want to see me post, but, like, for new people seeing me or, like, for, for my career ahead and stuff like that, like, I'm so strict on myself for, like, wanting to keep a certain vibe and stuff like that. And I let that get in the way of, like, my consistency. And then I get into, like, a whole, like, ah, because I want everything to look amazing and cinematic and perfect. But, like, that's just not a reality sometimes, you know? Like, I have to, like, I have to, like, ease up on my, love the eyeball content. Thanks. (laughs) I just have to ease up on myself and, like, post more, you know? But... It's all good. It's the same thing with, like, music, too. Every, uh, like, I'm sure. But no, I like our, I like our little Instagram chats. I never really go live on Instagram, and when I do, like, it's just, like, we just chill, and we chat. When I would go live on TikTok, it's, like, I feel like people are, like, banging on my door. (laughs) 
to live versus entertain a tough balancing act as well as being the circus for real. Um, the part about it is you, you genuine. As long as you don't lose that, you always be winning. On oh, God, bro. On oh, God. Genuine people up in 2024, you know. You know. I appreciate that, though. You are for real one of, like, the most genuine people that I've, like, ever met online. Like, from online. Like, I, I didn't know, obviously, like, what to expect, you know. Like, I wasn't thinking about it that deep, but, like, when I, like, first, like, hit you up or whatever, we first, like, hung out for the first time, like, I don't know what to expect because your shit was raw. So I was like, this, like, I, I don't know. He's probably gonna think I'm a joke or some shit. Um, but, like, yeah, never, never did I think that, like, you know, we'd have such a good, like, friendship and, like, everything would have, like, blossomed into the way it is. It's just crazy how life works and it's crazy how, like, decisions work like if I hadn't like if I hadn't stopped playing baseball at the time I stopped playing baseball I wouldn't be here right now type of shit you know like some deep universe questions like and it's crazy because baseball was my life like none of y'all even know that you know like I that's what I was gonna do in my life shave your head I was waiting for you to come to live Jack I was waiting for you to come into the live because I can't show this on live stream because they're going to ban me because it's a lighter. I'll tell you what it is. I'm going to light my hair on fire. <sighs> I'm watching American Horror Story. So that's changing my life currently as we speak. I'm going through a craziness. But yeah, I was a baseball player. Uh, that's what I was going to do in my life was be a professional baseball player. Um... And I, I, I could burn it off. <laughs> we should have done that. Probably feel sick. Olive Garden links. You like a brother, me. What position you play? I was a catcher, bro. Center field catcher. Um, and then I got insane tendonitis in both of my knees. Uh, by the time I was thirteen. And I would wake up and my knees would lock because all I ever played was catcher because I loved it so much. And um, I didn't have no knee savers or no, you know, cheat codes. It was just, just you know, the way it's supposed to be. And uh, I uh, tore up my knees a little bit. So I just like, I don't know. And like, I, I lived and breathed baseball from like the moment I can remember. So like, I just got to like my teenage years and I was like, I don't want to like spend every weekend of my life at baseball tournaments anymore because that, that was my schedule. I, I practiced. I was on a travel team. I practiced. I mean, we practiced three days a week, three days out of the school week. And then Saturday, Sunday was like always tournaments. So like, you know, you know how it is. It's just Jack just joined on a different account. Jack TD photo. Yeah, bro, I was going to be a baseball player. And then I just, like, randomly got a 1,000 followers on Instagram or on Musical.ly because it was Musical.ly at the time. And I had a stepdad in my life who hated social media at the time. So I had to keep the whole thing a secret. Um, my whole social media career, secret. It was a, it was a complete secret. Um, and, yeah, I... Uh, it was actually so scared of him finding out at first that I used to post videos like when I was 10 or like a little bit older than that, probably 11 or 12. And I would have a like a fake accent. Um, and I had this whole like story. There's videos on the internet of this somewhere. Like you can actually find them somewhere. Um, Cause I did vlogs and stuff like before I was on Musical.ly uh, and like, I would have a fake accent and everything just cause like, if he like found out I did social media, that was my one play of being like, nah, bro, it's okay. Cause his one thing was like, everyone will know where you're at in the world, you know? And I was like, bro, it's fine. Like I, I, I have a fake accent. Like these people think that I live somewhere like completely elsewhere was my reasoning. Um, and then, yeah, I had like a thousand followers. Still kept it a complete secret. Like, was terrified to the bones. My mom didn't understand what was going on at all. Because I'm over here like, I'm going to be famous, guys. Like, I am going to be... I thought I already was famous. You know, that like, you get a thousand followers from nothing. Like, they just appear. And you're like, this is a thousand different people. Like, 
following me that chose to follow that like or watching my path you know it's like every little monument is so like monumental um i forgot when he found out but he was he was gone out of my life at that point but yeah the worst thing is that we'll no longer be able to see those music leaves. That's the best thing, dude. That's the best thing about it. It's the only reason I'm excited that my TikTok is not there anymore. Haha, <laughs> you guys can't torment me anymore. Haha. <laughs> That's my whole life. I just knew I was going to go to the Olympics. Torrent, I see it twice and it was over with. That's crazy, bro. That's wild. We are literally those people, bro, that they're like, that the teachers and everybody, I mean, we're doing great things with our life instead. So like it worked out in our favor completely. Like I said earlier, I'd rather be nowhere else. But like, it's crazy because I remember just like, oh, I'm gonna be a professional baseball player. And all the teachers, everybody is just like, you're gonna get injured. And you know what happens to those kids that get injured and all that stuff. And we're those guys, dude. We both thought we were gonna be like, professional athletes and then me I like I, I was I got injured but I was like I also gave up on it too like the injury was not helping me I could have probably got through it um and yeah now we're just gave up on the sport I didn't give up on the sport I still got check this check this I didn't give up on the sport I can't believe I would say that I got a fresh glove I got a fresh glove I keep it I keep it by my side, fresh glove. This isn't this isn't my old glove. This is the brand new, but fresh glove. You know, just a normal, um, normal glove. No catcher's mitt. I have my first catcher's mitt downstairs, but I keep it on me, dude. I keep it on me. I got all my bats. I got everything. I got a bucket of baseballs downstairs. Sometimes we go to the uh, park, like Cornelius Road, and we just whip some baseballs. It's a good life, you know? <laughs> Honestly is. <laughs> it's a good life. Oh man. Also the 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 change up in the live has been as clean. Listen to the cages when I get back. Bro, that would be so legit, bro. That would be so legit. I'm so down. Whenever. Literally whenever. Sometimes like I, we just go to the like we got baseball fields behind my house, so we'll just go with some gloves and like I got a couple bats and a bucket of baseball, so like we could either go to the cages or just, like, go to the field and just fucking rip that shit. Um, but, yeah, I started this live stream, and I didn't talk for, like, 15 minutes just because I was in the zone. And now I haven't even looked at my computer. I'm just talking, which is great. It's is so great. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I was showing off the Mini Lab 3. Are you gonna stay for a while? Yesterday I was in pieces. I went to Guitar Center yesterday, and like, that was the first time I went to like Guitar Center in a while. And I realized that I hadn't like played a guitar in a while, like a couple weeks, and it was fun. You know how you like, get really good at guitar for like two weeks like you just study stuff every single day and then you take i got 112 120 mile an hour curveball it's over bro no way bro there's no chance bro